ஓம் நமோ பகவதே வாசுதேவாய ஓம் நமோ பகவதே வாசுதேவாய ஓம் நமோ பகவதே வாசுதேவாய நாராயணம் நமஸ்கிருத்திய நரம் சைவ நரோத்தமம் தேவிம் சரஸ்வதிம் வியாசம் ததோ ஜயம் உதீரயே நஷ்டப்பிராயேஷு அபத்ரேஷு நித்தியம் பாகவத சேவைய பகவதேருத்தமோகே பக்தேர்பவதி நைஸ்டி நாராயணம் நமஸ்கிருத்தனம் சைவனோத்தம் தேவியம் சரஸ்வதியம் வியாசம் ததோஜயம் உதிர நஷ்டப்பிராயேஷு பத்ரேஷு நித்தியம் பாகவத சேவிய பகவதி உத்தம ஸ்லோகே பக்தர் கோத்தினஷ்டி கிருஷ்ணாய வாசுதேவாய தேவக்கி நந்தனாய ச நந்த கும் கோபகுமாராய கோவிந்தாய நமோ நம ரீடிங் ஃப்ரம் ஸ்ரீமத் பாகவதம் கேண்டூ த்ரீ சாப்டர் ஃபிஃப்டீன் அண்ட் டெக்ஸ்ட் நம்பர் த்ரீ தேவ ஊச்சு தமயே திபோ வேத்த சம்விஜ்ஞாயம் நஹி அவ்யம் பகவதேன் தேவ ஊச்சு தமயே திபோ வேத்த சம்விஜ்ஞாயம் நஹி அவ்யம் பகவத ஒரு unmanifest before you brahma is addressed here in as vibhu and as the personality of godhead he is the supreme personality of godhead's incarnation of the mode of passion in the metal world he is non different in the representative sense from the supreme personality of godhead and therefore the influence of time cannot affect him the influence of time which manifests as past present and future cannot touch higher personalities like brahma and other demigods sometimes demigods and great sages who have attained such perfection are called trikalagna ஓம் அஜானிமிரந்திய ஜனஞ்சனாஷ்லாக்கியுர்மிலிதமேன தஸ்மை ஸ்ரீ குரவே நம ஸ்ரீ சைத்தன்ய மனோபிஷ்டம் ஸ்தாபிதம் என பூதலை ஸ்வயம்பூபாமாஹியம் ததாதி ஸ்வாபதாந்திகம் வாஞ்சாக்கல்பத்திருபியிருபாசிந்துபிஇவாம் பாவனேபியோ வைஷ்ணவேபியோ நமோ நம சோ திஸ் ஒன் இஸ் இன் த கண்டினியூஷன் ஆஃப் திஸ் வர்சஸ் of shrimad bhagavatam from the fifth chapter 15 this today our dear um pratibha prabhu explained why what happened basically in this previous words by the force of pregnancy of diti the light of the sun and moon was impaired in all parts and the demigods of various planets being disturbed by that force as the creator of the universe brahma what is this expansion of darkness in all directions so that's the yesterday's verse and now there they saw that something is happening in this world in the universe and they want to know what is the reason because they are full of anxieties why are they in anxiety actually the demigods are they they have the variet very uh, in this universe they are administering the universe by 
um, Indra is the head and all other demigods, they also have their portfolios and they have to take care of the living entities in this universe. And that is their duty, day-to-day -day duty. And now they are, they have all, all the control to con, uh, do, do certain duties in this universe. They have some control because they're all controlling the living entities here. So, but they are not it's, um, able to exercise the control on this particular darkness which is emanating. It's, uh, it's completely dark because it's blocking the sun. They are not getting the light. How powerful the Ditis uh, chill, uh, in the womb, those two, Hiranyaksha and um, Hiranyakashipu, right? So they are so powerful that they don't want, first of all, Diti, we know this previous verses, they want don't want to deliver the child. For 100 years, she was keeping the children in the womb. And the, those years, they are making so much influence on the universe. This two, just, they are not even come out of the womb, but in the womb, they can do many things. Because of that influence, they're blocking the sun. It's kind of what powerful, what power they have. Even the demigods were perplexed and they're asking Brahma. And we have seen these situations many times that if there are any disturbance, any problems, where do devatas go? Devatas also are in fear. Because we know many, many in this, many is past times in Srimad Bhagavatam. They are also in fear when the Daitya, um, when the various demons come and attack. Even Indra is many times he's in fear. He also goes, you know, we have seen this past times after past times in Srimad Bhagavatam. And whom do they approach? Normally they approach Brahma. And if Brahma is not able to address this issue, he also, Brahma also takes help of Lord Shiva. And if that is also not possible, they all go to Vishnu. One, that is how Lord Krishna appears, appeared in this planet um, of Earth. When there was a disturbance, all dev devatas went to Brahma. Brahma approached. Um, he has certain, definitely he has the ability to take care of it and say and see what's going on. But still he was not able to exercise his control and he approached Lord Shiva. And Mother Earth, Lord Shiva, Brahma, all the devotees, they all went to milk ocean. In the banks of the milk ocean, they all prayed Purusha Sukta. Sukta means prayer. And Purusha is Virat Purush of this material world, who is created in the form of Shirodaksha Vishnu in the planet of Dhruva in the North uh, North Pole. Not North Pole, it is the uh, Pole Star. In that Pole Star, Shirodaksha Vishnu is residing, and demigods have no entry to see Vishnu. They can only pray from the banks bank of the ocean and they prayed and finally Krishna Lord Vishnu appeared how did he appear the response was given in the heart of Lord Brahma and Brahma revealed the secret yes Krishna is you know he is appearing sometimes it comes through Brahma sometimes there are situations that um, even Lord Vishnu appears in, in, in front of the devatas also. But how? In various incarnations. Um, in the Samudran Mantan Lila, he had come in many times, many, many um, incarnations in the Samudran Mantan pastime, which they can practically see in the form of a different incarnation, but Krishna is not showing himself. 
but of course um even though planet in in this uh, planet earth when krishna appeared people were not able to understand that he is the supreme personality of god as well right so even brahma was bewildered from the brahma vimochan past time we know like this the revelation doesn't happen that easily so brahma is uh, all the devatas are approaching brahma for the help and they are addressing that vibho great one mm -hmm. and then and they are also telling that um because of the in because the influence of time cannot touch you they are addressing that brahma you are beyond time mm? beyond this influence of time and also nothing unmanifest before you that means lord brahma can know the past present and also future so he is called trikalagna that's what devatas are addressing so the one is i was thinking about this time the time factor ayur harati vaikunta right so what is happening every uh, for us every day sun rises sun sets and we we wake up in the morning we do whatever activities duties etc we'll go to sleep then again next day morning this is today is in, anyway it's morning right so we see oh sun is rising sun is setting but what is happening our actually one day closer to death so nobody can go against the time even one second we cannot can you extend my life for a one hour i'm sorry it's not possible it's already been it's not just the date date time seconds everything is been already set for a person to get um you know it's a expiry date basically time expiry date and time so but how come they are addressing brahma that there is then there is no influence of time for him also how how is that possible i was when i was in read this verse what my understanding is brahma is actually a representative of supreme personality of god he is not supreme personality of god and gods it says propad explains that it's godhead's incarnation of the mode of passion in the middle world so is an incarnation of lord incarnation of mode of passion in the middle world so he is is not the supreme personality of god he is not beyond time right the time also controls him because the only thing i understand is from the deva devata's time perspective brahma's time is longer even the devatas can live 100 years but their our 100 years and devatas 100 years is much longer when we compare to our 100 years devatas 100 years is longer but if you look at what what is the lifetime of brahma based on our timing is 311 trillion years so in that way thinking that it's a very long time then the time cannot touch you <laughs> in that aspect i was thinking right there is there is no influence of time for you brahma you know what's going on they are addressing but brahma is also under the time uh, influence of time after 100 he has also leave there is another brahma coming he has to leave as well but for the uh, for the devatas yes it's a pretty long time so that's why they are addressing brahma that the how that's another thing i was thinking about is the control exercise the control devatas are exercise they are not able to exercise their control brahma sometimes is not able to exercise his control and as what are we as a living entity we cannot we are thinking that we are independent 
which we are not independent at all everything is controlled by even for eyelid hmm? even the eyelids are controlled if, oh i want to close my eyes blink my eyes that is also controlled by a devata that is why gopis curses um brahma what is this kind of creation you have did what is the what kind of creation you have done we are um, not able we are, we are unable to um control our eyes to you know we don't want to blink we want to see krishna all the time so that's why their gopis are you know cursing brahma what kind of creation what kind of what are you doing this we are not able to see krishna properly that blink is only a nanosecond but of course gopis are different <laughs> their love is different right so uh, it, that everything is controlled by a demigod everything is controlled by a devata yeah? devatas and even devatas are controlled by another higher higher up devata and even the maha you know uh, uh, brahma is also controlled if they will go to and problem happens then they will go to mahadev which is lord shiva mahadev right and if he is not able to then finally they will end up in going to lord vishnu in this material world which is that is the axis but what then devatas their higher higher beings then how are in another way i was thinking how are we have an access to krishna we have access to krishna in the dt form we have access to krishna in the form of shrimad bhagavatam in because it's a literary incarnation of krishna we have also have an access to krishna in a different form but how do you connect to krishna we may think that oh dt form is right there i can talk to dt it's not happening to everyone sorry the only connection to the dt of krishna, or of krishna is through our spiritual master right in now in this aspect as an administration of course devatas are going to brahma but he is our brahma is a pure devotee and he has an access to krishna's um access to krishna vishnu and the next he is telling in the uh, in the translation there is nothing unman unmanifest before you this is a little bit difficult to understand but and also easy to understand say suppose i am taking my personal example me and my daughter me and my son right sometimes he has some thoughts i also have the same thoughts of whatever my daughter has and then in few minutes a few days ago it happened like that daddy this is what i was thinking you know what hemangi even i was also thinking the same thing so how can i know what she has in his heart how can she know how what i am having in my heart that is truly happening by the relationship how in the sense rupa goswami sanatan goswami all the goswamis shri chaitanya manobishtam sthapitam mena bhutale huh? if you look at it how rupa goswami had an access to heart of lord chaitanya and if you see the look um, all the associates of lord chaitanya they 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 know they would read the mind that means basically they read the heart of the lord correct so it's a simple example in my personal that is me and my daughter me and my son me and my wife whatever right we have we have that relation so we are able to understand each other similarly a person who is very dear to the lord surrender to the lord they have an access to the heart of krishna and krishna has of course he has an ha access to everybody's heart correct so in that way 
Brahma is a pure devotee of the Lord in that aspect. And Brahma, anything can manifest in his heart. Right? Even Brahma prays 1000 years of his time to understand. He was, he was trying to understand Thapa, Thapa, Thapa. Right? He got that, oh, he got a message, Thapa. And then he meditated for 1000 years. Did Lord appear? Yes, he appeared in the in his heart. Right? And they said, okay, go ahead and do tapa, tapa, tapa. So the Lord can appear in the heart and as is in this form of a super soul. For us also, there, there are, of course, Srimad Bhagavatam has so many things to understand. My, 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 by understanding my realization, I was hearing a few days ago, the child in the womb, how is in the third canto comes in a little further. I was hearing from one of the devotees, of course, that uh, reading a Shrimad Bhagavatam purports, etc. It was, uh, it's a mind boggling thing that when a child, when, when the entity in the womb of the mother stay is there for nine months and uh, the, the baby has to tilt, the baby has to do this, that, the worms are coming, there are so many bacteria, so many things that are coming and, uh, you know, and, and troubling the baby in, inside the womb. Of course, we all experience, but we forgot. How can we even remember anything? For nine months, sitting in that small place, womb, and we pray the Lord Krishna, please get, let me out of this. Please let me out of this. Actually, super soul is sitting in everybody's heart. Why is he sitting in everybody's heart? Based on our previous karma, pre previous activities, we are actually facing all these reactions in this world. And because of that previous karma, what not, the baby, the living entity has to take another body in the form of many things, but as a suppose as a human being, he he will pray or that living entity will pray, it seems, that please get me out of it. And actually, super soul is accompanying in every living entity to remind him, this is not your place. This is not your place. And he's telling us and giving us a direction every day. If you look at it, if I do something wrong, something in my heart is telling, don't do this, don't do this, don't, don't do that, do this. Of course, we are in that way, our spiritual master is the external manifestation of our super soul, right? He is there to direct us directly in, in, that, in that aspect. Now, if you look at how can Brahma, he, he is, there is nothing unmanif unmanifest before you. They're asking, they're addressing, because he's a tri tri trikalagna, right? He says, which manifests as a present, sorry, past, present, and future. Cannot touch higher personalities like Brahma and other demigods. Demigods is Lord Shiva, Brahma. And even some sages, they have attained such perfection to get to understand the heart of Krishna. What is there? In response, Krishna also reveals the, his heart in somebody who is a pure devotee, pure soul. And now, Devatas, oh, are they not devotees? They are also kind of devotees. They are mish, mixed devotees. If they are not that pure, so in that way, the Krishna cannot reveal what is going on in the hearts of the demigods? So they will come and approach the person who can understand. Many times we have seen, in, you know, Prabhupada can say, we have heard many, many things. Oh, Prabhupada said, oh, you know, Brahm, um, in one of the lectures, right, in the New York City, oh, I can, I, Narada is here. How does he know Narada is here? He can see because he has a, that perfection, purity in his heart. Krishna can reveal 
and you can give the eyes to see what is there. Even Brahm, uh, when Arjuna, he was not able to see the Virat Rupa of Krishna and given, and Krishna gave him a divine eyes to see. Why? Because he was his friend, pure, dear friend and a devotee. And so there are various things. Of course, this verse, the purport looks smaller, but there's so many things to discuss. The time factor is one. The time factor means fear. Right? Devatas are all in fear. I'm not able to perform this duty. I'm not able to perform, the, you know, exercise my control on this. He was under fear. And they come to Brahma. Brahma is not fear. <laughs> I don't think Brahma is fearful. He knows that he is going to leave for a long time. And on the top of it is a pure devotee. He is, he is not afraid of anything. I, I just give one in my realization. In my See, these are all very high funda. Say, suppose. I can tell my experience. His well as Rompad Maharaj came. When my wife, wife was uh, in his last, in her last days. Maharaj was asked. Uh, ask, Maharaj asked my wife. Are you okay? Are you afraid? My wife, I she was telling, Maharaj, I'm not afraid of death. It's a big statement. I was, I was, I was like astonished. How can this happen? I don't know what what um, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's a pure devotee. It doesn't matter. But basically, when somebody surrenders surrenders to Krishna. Krishna can give that protection in many aspects and that fear is gone. I, everybody can be ready to face the death also. So in that aspect, she was telling, Maharaj, I was not, I'm not afraid of death. Maharaj said, wow. So this, see, there are various things you can read from the scriptures, various things you can hear from others and various things you can even we can say day to day your realization understand so i'm just sharing my realizations on what's happened how it happened so this is what there's a small verse we think that it is small but it is not there is a, so much to understand and then um the time is also like we have only half an hour to but at, at, at least whatever i know my understanding i thought of sharing i think i'll stop here if anybody has any reflections, we'll go ahead. Otherwise, we can stop. Thank you so much for all of your patience and attending these classes. Anybody has any quick thoughts? Okay, thank you so much. Srila Prabhupada ki jai, Vansha Kalpatro, Vyas Chakrupa, Sindhu Bhyavacha, Patita Nam Pavne Bhyav, Vaishnavya Bhyavana Manamata, Koti Vaishnavya Ki jai.